Okay, here's an Ultium Designer uh, manufacturer part search uh, bug slash UI issues. Not sure what to call it. So here it is manufacturer part search. First thing currency, none. Okay, great. I want to go to USD. Okay. I don't think anything changed here. But more importantly, having set that here, now I go to part provider preferences and everything is enabled. No problem, right? You can just right click, left click, click on something, okay, hold down the shift key and select, nope, hold down the control key and select, nope, uh, hold down the alt key and select, no. So I can't group select everything and I can't turn all, everything off. So I have to do this if all I want is USD. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Oh, twenty three. Okay, great. Now I have USD, right? Okay. Oh location okay currency that's what I thought that I did with with this setting here um, oh no problem I can enable disable all of them no right click left click um, oh uh, surely I can shift select no I can't do that so one two three four five six seven eight nine oh I missed ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nothing against the other currencies. I just don't need them. Okay, now, supplier. Oh, look at that. There's a select and select all suppliers function. All right. Um, not sure what that does. Little do we dare click that. I don't know what that is. Oh. So, what did I just do? I have no idea. It says enabled equals unchecked. If I close that, I get that. I'm not really sure what that button does. Enabled equals unchecked. So, does it invert these selections? Is that what that does? No idea, because... There's no tooltip on it. Now, I've got a whole bunch of, there's a few here, enabled, right? So if I enable all, I, this one has what these should have had, right? So presumably if I click on that, I select all, unselect, and now what happened is whatever selections I had in the past, they were all lost. In other words, I don't have the option to go click, 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 and end up with the pre-selected, the originally selected set, right? I've got to go in and and select them by hand. Uh, it just seems like a nice thing to do to, uh, look, I can click on the enable word also. For users is to not nuke whatever they may have had because they accidentally hit that. Um, all right. I'll recreate those. I'll recreate what I had, and um, and that's that. But the next problem is this. Um, so it's great. Let's say that I've set this up, and now I want to save these preferences so I don't have to do this all over again. Now, um, any user knows that uh, you've got preferences here. They will use save preferences here for defaults for PCB for schematic and I believe also for draftsman was it yes defaults no nope, it doesn't that one doesn't have a separate save so the question is if I am here parts provider right and I save here right which I will do now the complete in order to get the complete set of preferences you have to save schematic and PCB editor so that 
all three because I don't think that the overall um, saved preferences file contains these two. If it does, the, the, the documentation isn't really clear about that. So what I have to do in order to make sure that I have a full set of preferences that tracks from change to change to change is to save everything all over again. So, and I'll go to where I keep my preferences and I keep them numbered and dated. So I'll simply just click on that for the name. Um, this will be the 16th save. I keep older ones um, elsewhere. And then change the date, which is the 15th today. Okay, so this is the overall preferences. And it takes a minute to save everything. Uh, somebody told me that this is grabbing everything off the registry effectively and saving it into a zip file that has a, basically a custom extension, if you will. So it's saving everything. But if I stop there, um, being that I need to make sure that if in three months I need to reload my configuration, my preferences, I need to know which schematic and PCB preferences match that version. So I have to come here and then say save as and as you see uh, I just say I need to um, there's schematic and PCB so I need to save a number 16 for this with a new date and I have to save another Now, because schematic and PCB preferences share the same extension, you can be you have to be very careful because if you say, "Oh, I just saved it, no problem," no, no, that schematics you are not getting the PCB editor def uh, default preferences. Okay, so you have to explicitly save them as separate files, or you will hose your preferences. No question about it. So you need to. I, these should probably have different extensions, but that's not what we get. Um, so there's no protection against potentially uh, doing this. Even better would be that you know you have one button to deal with, so it's just saving everything. Um, maybe it does that already, but it's not. Maybe this button here, save as. I'm sorry, save down here. Um, does that it saves absolutely everything including the defaults but that's not explicitly explained in the documentation they have these extra save buttons and um, I haven't run an experiment but I, I should run one um, I've asked and no one said no no just do it once here and you're good um, and that's it done so a few issues and in, um, in uh, one simple video